Hello, RJ is fucking. I want to live alone. Do you have these stuff? No, I don't. Here in Liverpool. Still, I say still because if you've seen my previous video, I've just been on the ferry across the Mersey, which is really good. So if you haven't watched that, check that video out. But, but now I'm going to look around the water from uh, Liverpool and the Royal Albert Dock, which is to the to the right of me, which is really good. It's great all listed building the, the dock is like regenerated like in the nineteen eighties. So I'm gonna look around the place. There's a, there's a museum now, the Maritime Museum, which I'm quite interested in. So I'm gonna head towards that. So check it out. So I got to Royal Albert Dock and I quickly found out there's cobblestones, which isn't great for the wheelchair, but we have been an old dock, I expected it anyway. So I made to Royal Albert Dock and it was built in the 1840s and played a big role in like the commercial shipping aspect of Liverpool. But by the late 70s, it had fallen into disrepair. And in the 80s, th there was work in place to regenerate the area. So over time, it was, the area was redeveloped. And there's several museums here now. And it's quite a famous tourist area. And the museum that I wanted to go, go to was the National Maritime Museum. Hence the anchor. You can see it in the background, which I was quite looking forward to going to because I like things like that. And as you can see, the museum has been incorporated into the Royal Albert Dock, which I think is quite good. And the museum, which is free entry, spans over several floors. And on the third floor, is the International Slavery Museum, which is also free of entry. Now I went into the Slavery Museum first, but I didn't film on this bit because I felt it was important that I went through it and the museum and sold myself. I didn't want to do any filming. That wasn't right to do so. I was really pleased I went into this music museum because purely from an educational form of view, I think it's important that people know what happened and with slavery and things like that. So I was pleased I went in there. So then I went into the Maritime Museum and it was a bit about the Titanic and a model of the Titanic. A bit about Carpavia, the rescued survivors. There was an exhibit about sinking of the Lusitania which was torpedoed by a German U-boat in World War One, and it killed just over a thousand people. That was a model there of the Lusitania, and the replica of the size of a the torpedo that hit it, which was huge. There was lots of models of ships in this bit, including the hospital ship. In the exhibit, there was lots of nautical items on display. There was a whole floor dedicated to what it was like when people migrated in the 18th century, like from Europe to America. And this bit replicates what the conditions were like for people that made that journey. And then I was finished at the museum and back onto the cobblestones, which are really bumpy, like I said earlier. Ugh. I was heading towards somewhere I really wanted to go to. And here it is, the Beatles statue, which is situated in the square that's in front of the library building. And of course, I had to pose next to the statue. And it's like I'm the fifth Beatle, unofficially. But I certainly really enjoyed going to this statue. And I also had a picture next to 
the statue of Brian Epstein, who was the Beatles manager for several years and quite infamous really, the success of the Beatles. And on the way back uh, to the hotel, I stopped at the Cabin Club restaurant, which is on Matthew Street, across the road from the Cabin Club. And of course, oh, you can see it in the background. And I had scouse, which is like a type of stew, which is what the term scouse is, is based upon. It was very nice. And I just had to do another video of me going down Matthew Street, past the Calvin Club. And if you're watching my last video, the entire tell you that Matthew Street was my kind of street. It was certainly really good having I mean, a little bit of a stroll around Liverpool. It was quite good, it was quite a cool day, however. I, I didn't get a chance to do an outro video when I got back to the hotel because it was really, really cold and I didn't get a chance to do it. But, you know, thank you for watching this video. And, the Liverpool videos because it's something I've had planned for a while and you know, it was really good and I really appreciate it so thank you for watching and on that note I'll see you on the next one